Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Today we are going to learn about the combo structure and some basic universal rules to help you understand how to build combos in Dragon Ball Fighters. So first off, some things to understand about Dragon Ball Fighters is combos. You get one homing super dash per jump, and you will always do a super dash automatically the first time that you hit H immediately following a smash from a heavy attack. A smash being the kind of a heavy attack that sends an enemy flying away from you, like 5H or 2H. Also, you only get one proper smash per combo. When in the air from a 2H and a pursuit, you can hit H again, and the opponent will be sent to the ground where they will slide long enough for you to land and do a super afterwards. You can cancel lights into mediums into heavies in ascending order. That order does not matter in the air, so you can cancel a medium into a light into another light if you're in midair. You can also jump cancel your normals, and you get one double jump or air dash, which resets once your feet touch the ground again. These are some of the fundamental rules that make up the game's combo system. And now that we understand those, we can get into the structure of combos and see how they're made, and we can get an understanding that will let you learn to create your own and to experiment. So first off, this game does have auto combos. If you are truly new, I think these are fine to use. They're like training wheels. But do try to wean yourself off of them if you use them once you have a basic understanding of the game. You don't want to create bad habits or get used to mashing, plus they are very, very suboptimal, and they can also be unsafe. Now, even if you aren't relying on auto combos, it's still worth understanding a few things about them. For instance, there are two types. There are light auto combos and medium auto combos, depending on which of those two buttons that you mash out. Light auto combos involve a string of hits on the ground, a super dash, and a small air combo. A medium auto combo tends to be very quick and ends with a super. One property of auto combos that you're going to want to familiarize yourself with is their unique attacks, especially on block. Some characters have unique cross-ups or unique overheads or unique lows from their auto combos, but they are often insanely unsafe on block, and they're very easy to punish. So recognize when someone is doing those, and punish them accordingly. Now, as for the game's combo structure, let's start really basic. The Magic Series. The Magic Series is just hitting buttons with very little precise timing in an easy sequential order, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, or in our case, light, medium, heavy. Really all you're doing is following the buttons left to right on your stick or your pad. LMH is our basic ground Magic Series. The H at the end of it will smash. From there we can add another H right afterwards and that will do a pursuit attack, a super dash. And now they're in the air. In the air, you can do another magic series, which again is LMH. So that's it, the basic universal combo, broken down into a couple of easily digestible chunks. Magic series, H, magic series, super. If you were to write all of this out, that's LMH, H, LMH, 236L plus M. We break it up into chunks, and it's much easier than the notation suggests, right? This is why when you see this long string of numbers and letters, in a combo in notation form, you don't need to immediately freak out and go into cold sweats. It's not as complex as it looks, sometimes, most of the time. So once you've practiced that, you can go a little bit more intermediate and start to optimize and add little things in. For instance, remember how auto combos have unique follow-ups? Well, we aren't doing auto combos, but we can still take advantage of that. So let's add a second L to our initial magic series, which makes it LLMH. That's something, but we can still do more. So most characters can do a 2M into 5M. That's a low medium into a standing medium. So now our ground combo becomes LL, 2M, 5M, H. Now we can also apply our rule that we learned about jump canceling to get even more here. And we can cancel the 5M into a jump and start a small air combo. And then from there, we can do our normal air magic series, or we can get a bit fancier and use that rule that we learned earlier about getting one double jump, and we combine it with the other rule that we just utilized about jump cancels, 
and we can do a double jump cancel, and our air magic series becomes LM double jump LM. So the entire combo up till now becomes LL 2M 5M jump LMH H LM double jump LM. And to top it off, most characters can do an S here, which is their key blast, and then do some kind of special, or you can just hit H again and end with a super. In our case, with Android 16, we get to sprinkle in an S, a light power bomb, and now we've got something that looks a little bit more intermediate. And we've built this up from the basic Universal Magic series, and we've done so without using any assists and no meter so far, unless you're ending that with a super. But we really haven't truly gotten fancy yet. We've just kind of added on to the basic knowledge that we already possessed and started incorporating some of the rules that we learned about how this game works. And so what this ultimately looks like, if you were to write it out in notation, is LL, 2M, 5M, jump, LMH, H, LM, double jump, LM, S, 236L. So that looks like a lot of notation. It's a lot of numbers and letters, but it doesn't feel like that because we broke that up into a couple of sections. We chunked that. And giving those chunks shorthands in and of themselves, like we know LMH is a shorthand for Magic Series, it makes it even easier to pull all of that together. You're really just memorizing a few things and calling upon them in small chunks at a time. You're doing it like you would dial a phone number. So you have the beginning, you have LL, 2M, 5M, that's your starter on the ground. You take to the air with a jump. Then your first air combo looks like LMH, H. That second H is to start the pursuit. And then you go into your next air combo. LM, double jump, LM. That's a really quick, simple, short rhythm. Da, 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 da. And then you go into your ender, which for some people is going to be H, fall, and then you do your super. Or in our case, we ended that with S236L, or S Power Bomb. And if we had difficulty with any one section of that, you don't have to do the entire combo to practice it. You just can practice one section at a time. If I'm having trouble doing the double jump, I can just launch someone and do the LM double jump LM over and over until I have that part of it down. And once you're comfortable there, you're free to do so many things. I haven't given you the most optimized universal combo, just one variant of it. You can optimize it more from here. You can do things like change your air magic series to MLL instead of the LM, the really basic thing that we were working with. You can work teleports in, uh, sorry, vanishes. You can work EXs in. You can extend your combos using assists, and you can do so much more and so much character-specific stuff. But this is a good place to stop for now because we have an understanding now of how combos work within this game's structure, and we know now how to chunk them up and to slowly extend them to do more damage with every stray hit we get. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.